In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your location on iPhone and Android depending on the device you are using. If you just started playing Pokemon like me or you're really an existing user and you're looking for the best way to move around the map without leaving your house, then this is the right video for you. Thanks to iMyPhone for sponsoring today's video. iMyPhone has a lot of amazing softwares that can be used to improve your daily life like Mirror 2, iMyTrans, Magic Mic and a lot more. In today's video, we are going to be using the AnyTo software by iMyPhone that allows you to spoof your location easily. AnyTo allows you to control up to 10 devices when using the PC version of the software. It also supports cloud storage which allows you to save your favorite routes and use them anytime you need. Also has a calling timer function to remind you to do relevant operations before the countdown ends. This is really a life changing application for Pokemon fans and if you wish to change your location on social media, the AnyTo software Software got you covered. The AnyTo software is available for download on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. I have made it easy by attaching the download link in the description below. Head over to the page and click on Try It Free to download it to your Windows or Mac. In my case, I have it installed on my Mac. Now it's going to ask you to complete some permissions. Read it carefully so you can set up the app properly for your device. Using the PC version allows you to connect your phone to your laptop with the USB or via Wi Fi. Using the app for the first time, you are required to use USB before switching to Wi Fi. I made use of the app few hours ago so my last location was in United Kingdom. If you have watched the video to this point, now would be a good time for you to like this video if you are enjoying it and also subscribe if you wish to see more. Now to change your location, make sure your device is connected via USB. Then use the search bar at the top to search for a region you want, in my case United Kingdom. You should see a pop up screen that says move. Click on it and your location will be set to the new location. You can also click important points on the map. Now if you wish to confirm your location was changed, you can open map on your mobile phone to see your new location. Sweet right? Now you can go ahead and enjoy your new location. Now let me show you more cool things you can do if you're a Pokemon fan. Okay so um, as you can see this was my last location on the app and now this is my mobile phone. I had to cancel the old application because changing your location you need to make sure you close Pokemon at first. If you want to close Pokemon, then once you have Pokemon closed, what you want to do now is to click on, I can open the game right now. All right, so as you can see, my location is active. So what I'll do is I'll just pick a point on the map, then click on move, and it's going to move my account there. So as you can see, it shows I've moved to a new location. And as you can see on my screen, it's loading. And if you take a, look, a good look at it, you'll notice the way um, the way I'm placed on the map is actually the same way I'm placed on the Pokemon um, game itself. So if I want to move from this side to this side, all I just have to do is to make use of a different feature, which is on this place. This one is just this one is just to you can actually set different routes. Then I'll set the speed of uh, I can let me just pick here. Then I'll set the speed. Then I'll click on move, and it's going to move on my phone. Watch. Then I'll click on as you can see right here is moving on my mobile phone. So you can see I'm actually moving. I can actually go ahead and go. I can go ahead and play Pokemon by clicking on all this stuff. So I can click on all this stuff if I want, and I can win whatever I want. So as you can see, it's going. I'm still working down to that particular point. So I've gotten to that point. So as you can see, I've gotten to that point. So routes completed because of another feature on the app, which is this multi spots so i can select multiple spots i can select multiple but i can select one select two select three so you just want to make sure you are it's accurate make sure it's accurate at least then put it this then i'll put this then i'll pick this then i'll pick this then i want to increase the speed a little bit i want to increase the speed a little bit to something like this then I'll click on move. So you can see my current location is active. I can actually go ahead and get different stuffs on it, which is really, really nice. So you can see right now I'm moving to all the multiple um, spots I've selected. And you can also connect multiple devices, like I said, by clicking on this icon right here. Once you click on this icon, you can add multiple devices. You can add multiple devices by clicking on the plus icon and add a new device. All right, but I don't have any new device to add, so I'm just going to leave it that way. So as you can see, that's the, um, I think that's the third feature right here 
on it and you can see actually on my mobile phone i'm still i'm still working i'm doing everything at home all right you can see i'm walking around the streets of united kingdom while i'm still in my house which is really really nice if you found the video if you found the video really helpful kindly like and also don't forget to subscribe if you wish to see more